Excuse me, fella. Hold on a moment. It was only thanks to your help earlier that the Dragon Lady and those exalting Sanctum residents got away unscathed. The Dragon Lady of the Alchemy Commission, Lady Bailu. You mean the child? She's starting to sound like a big shot. A friend in the Skyfaring Commission told me the General Commission guests to deal with the troubles on the Lafu. You must be the guests. If you don't mind, I hope you can take the time to come to the Realm Keeping Commission. I'd like to talk to you about the issues Exalting Sanctum is currently facing. Oh, that's right. It, forgive my forgetfulness. Glad you came. It's great to have one of the General's distinguished guests helping us out. My Realm Keeping Commission colleagues failed to provide adequate care for the Dragon Lady. I'd like to thank you on behalf of all of them for rescuing her back in Exulting Sanctum Plaza. As I'm sure you're aware, symptoms of Mara have been spreading ever since the Stellaron incident occurred. Thanks to the Ten Lords Commission, being stricken with Mara had long since become a terrifying but avoidable fate for Sienjo natives. The puzzling thing is that despite the Commission's protection, we're now seeing an increase. More and more citizens, in particular those dealing with great risks and stress like the Cloud Knights, are becoming stricken with Mara. Moreover, the Mara Struck have taken on a horrifying appearance. As if they're turning into some sort of monster. This certainly differs from what I thought I knew about the illness. That appears to be the case. No smoke without fire, as they say. Despite being just a servant of the Realm Keeping Commission, spending a considerable amount of time on the front lines has sharpened my senses to potential dangers. You're a capable person, and since the General entrusted you with locating the Stellaron, it's only a matter of time before you run into Marastruck. If you come across any clues, remember to inform the Realm Keeping Commission straight away. My colleagues and I will handle any situation with haste and to the best of our ability. Speaking of which, have you made any discoveries so far? I read the letter. I'll be honest with you, I've got no idea how to handle this problem. It's beyond the Realm Keeping Commission's jurisdiction. I contacted the Seat of Divine Foresight, which is overseen by the General. Allow me to introduce Madame Ching Zhu, General Jing Yuan's Chief Counselor. I think it'll be easier if she explains the letter to you. I read the letter you obtained from the Marastruck. While the Cloud Knights were searching for the Stellaron's whereabouts, I was carrying out the General's orders, tracking down clues on the Marastruck. Thanks to your efforts, we now have a lead. To an outsider, this letter appears to be nothing more than good news detailing a recovery from a chronic illness. However, what is actually being discussed is a violation of the Ten Unpardonable Sins. It's heresy. That's right. Since the Alliance was first established, 
all medical practices aboard the Xianzhou adhere to strict standards that prohibit long life or mutant modifications under the guise of curing. I went through all our files to find information on the experiment in question, and found nothing. I started thinking about how the Alchemy Commission's delve was sealed off. There must be an unspeakable secret locked away there. The author of this letter was likely the Maristruck you defeated. My guess is he was led astray and poisoned while under the pretext of being cured. You saw how he ended up. Such actions remind me of an organization that was eradicated from the Sienjo a thousand years ago. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. They were disciples of the Abundance that sought to restore the way of immortality by unearthing a forbidden remedial formula. It's hard to believe that a group that was wiped out so long ago would suddenly rear its head and create chaos once more. The Seat of Divine Foresight needs to learn all it can about this organization's status before the situation reaches a point of no return. If you come across any similar clues about the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, come and find me at the Seat of Divine Foresight. These kinds of first-hand accounts are exactly what we require. Excellent. Your work will not be in vain. The Seat of Divine Foresight always rewards those who contribute to our efforts. I recently received some intel. It seems that certain individuals are taking advantage of the current chaos to lure in outworlders around Exalting Sanctum. Maybe you could start there? We sent an undercover investigator out a few months ago. They provided us with a rough idea of the situation. Unfortunately, it seems suspicions were aroused. We lost contact with the agent. I suspect he was discovered. You are a fresh face in the Lafu, and an outworlder. I would feel more at ease if I could leave this matter with you. Excuse me. Guest from another world, please spare me a moment of your time. Do you yearn for immortality? Excellent. Who would turn down the opportunity to live forever? The Xianzhou doesn't care one bit about the well-being of short life species. They stubbornly blockade the glorious path to immortality. My name is Green Hibiscus. I came to Exalting Sanctum in hopes of a fated encounter with one such as yourself. One who is also on the road to immortality. What do you say? How about we find a more suitable spot to talk about all this? Let's make haste. There are too many people here to linger. Here we are. This is the place. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. If it were so easy, we'd be a far larger group, and there'd be no need for secrecy. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am a member of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I was unable to expose my true identity in Exalting Sanctum, but now I can reveal everything. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus is a devout group, holding firm in their belief that Merciful Medicus is the one ultimate faith. As followers, we refer to ourselves as disciples, dedicated to our cause. If you wish to gain the means to immortality, then you must become a disciple. But to become a disciple, you must first pass several small trials. Please excuse me. Our expansion has unfortunately attracted the attention of those devilish archer followers. If we are not careful, the consequences could be unthinkable. No need to be concerned about him. Much like yourself, he is here to undergo the trials. Ah! 
<laughs> Only those led astray by followers of the devilish archer could despise merciful Medicus. Sadly, there are many such people. Too many. Every species yearns for the favor and curing of merciful Medicus, regardless of whether they have heard of the abundance or not. Foxians yearn to cure themselves of their 300-year lifespan. The Fidiatera yearn to cure themselves of the pain of reincarnation and lack of progeny. As for Sienjo natives, they long to cure themselves of the torture of becoming Mara-struck. Of course, we know that this torture is rather a kind of blessed evolution. To return to your question, Sanctus Medicus can cure the aging that short-life species face. Along with disease and death, Sanctus Medicus can do for you what they did for the Sienjo natives. What you seek, you will surely find. Merciful Medicus is magnanimous. They do not lightly refuse a prayer. As such, the initiation trials for the disciples of Sanctus Medicus are nothing arduous. All you must do is transcribe this copy of Thousand-Handed Merciful Medicus's Salvation 500 times by hand. This will allow your brothers and sisters to trust your faith, and you to become a disciple. This scripture is central to the disciples. You must maintain a pious heart during the transcription. It would be best if you could memorize the text. Of course, this is but the first trial. Once you have become a disciple, you will undergo numerous others. Don't worry. A traditional Sienjo brush and ink stone has been prepared for you. Smooth action and an ergonomic design. I myself transcribed 50,000 copies with such instruments. Took you long enough. I know you. You're General Jingyuan's honored guest. You're here undercover, right? So am I. You've got to believe me. I'm a Cloud Knight from the Exalting Sanctum Garrison. That green hibiscus has been sneaking around spreading heretical lies for a while now. That's why I'm here, to spy on him. They were suspicious of me as soon as I arrived. It took a lot of effort to make them believe I wanted to become a disciple. <laughs> I have my reasoning. Cults like this want to recruit people with influence in law and order. I wanted them to know I was a Cloud Knight. Always know your enemy. Shh! Keep your voice down! These disciples don't miss much. If they discover us, we won't make it out of here. <sighs> you can trust me with the transcription. I spent over 150 years pen pushing in the seat of divine foresight before I became a cloud knight. I could do this in my sleep. Listen carefully. I help you copy the text, you cover for me, and I get word out to the seat of divine foresight.
Take your time, still your mind, and transcribe the text. Allow the beautiful enlightenment of thousand-handed merciful Medicus's salvation to permeate your being. You're finished? So soon? Let me see. Ah. Huh. Yes, it would appear you are finished. A fast and accurate transcription. It seems you are destined for immortality. Calm yourself. The initiation is divided into two steps. You and the Cloud Knight have completed the first. Now, only the second remains. Sure, but can it wait till tomorrow? I'm supposed to be on duty right now. They'll get suspicious if I don't head back soon. No need to worry. The second step is extraordinarily simple. It'll all be over soon enough. The Disciples' initiation is governed by the following principle. Never accept who you suspect, and never suspect who you accept. So, it's time for you two to battle it out. Whoever survives will officially become a Disciple. Huh. Transcribing scripture allows us to ascertain your devotion. But determining whether or not you'll be loyal to the organization requires a stronger guarantee. Sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. I didn't write the rules. Whoa, 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 you're kidding, right? We came here to lengthen our lifespans, not shorten them! You can't just make us fight like this! We aren't forcing you to fight. By all means, refuse if you wish. But we won't possibly be able to let either of you leave. I... Mm, fine. Fine. But at least let me prepare? I've never done anything like this before. Very well. But you'll need to ask your opponent, too. Good. Then prepare yourselves. Time is precious. Make it quick. Listen, I have an idea that will let you join the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus and let me get the heck out of here in one piece. You and I fight, and I lose to you. I pretend that you finish me off. Then you pretend to help them remove my body by dragging me out of here. That way, we both accomplish our objectives. Oh, um, <clears throat> I've seen your skills. Um, please don't mess up and actually kill me? <laughs> Good. I knew I could trust you. My life is in your hands. So, have you prepared yourselves? Are you ready to fight? And you, Cloud Knight? <laughs> I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm ready. Then... Let's begin. Well then, take this! Uh, rules are made to be broken! More than that. Better up. <laughs> what magnificent skill! He was fierce, but no match for you. I'm glad you prevailed. That Cloud Knight waltzed straight up to us in uniform and asked if he could join. Hardly a convincing spectacle. I doubt I ever could have trusted him. Purple Chrysanthemum, Blue Peach. Find somewhere to dispose of the body. 
Oh? You've dealt with this kind of thing before? A long-time associate, eh? You're well-connected, I see. Hmm... This does have its advantages. Our brothers and sisters have been proselytizing an exalting sanctum over the last few days. We may have attracted the attention of the devils. Having you dispose of the Cloud Knight will be safer. As such, this can be your first mission as a disciple. You take an active approach to getting things done. I'll be sure to pass that on to my superiors. In any case, my hearty congratulations on your admission to the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. From now on, you will be known by the code name Grey Peony. Well, Grey Peony, let's depart separately to avoid attracting attention. We'll rendezvous at a different location later. Until then. <laughs> I did a good job playing dead, didn't I? <laughs> Those people are out of their minds. Watch your step next time you're around them. <laughs> With your skills? You've got a better chance than most. I should report back to the Seat of Divine Foresight. Stay safe, friend. Green Hibiscus agreed to meet me here, but there's no sight of him. What gifts? There's a letter here. What's this on the envelope? Gray Peony? Ugh, this must be from Green Hibiscus. The disciples sure know how to keep a low profile. Looks like I'll need to help them complete this mission. If they're looking to intercept mail, I should probably start by searching near Exalting Sanctum's Psycrane stands. Stan. Let's check a different one. I don't believe in your ghosts. Tractor clean to your star skip service. <laughs> Look, no. What's written on this package? Seat of divine foresight urgent? This is it. 
the mail the disciples want to intercept. Hmm. Seems like it's encrypted somehow. Makes sense. This is critical intelligence after all. Let's see if I can crack the code. Code cracked. Huh. Nice. And an internal order from the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Judging from these urgent instructions, the disciples are aware of a seat of divine foresight operation to infiltrate their ranks. No wonder Green Hibiscus was so eager to intercept this. I'll use my phone to make a copy, and then hand it over to Green Hibiscus. Of Moon, this is the reliable disciple I mentioned to you, Grey Peony. Grey Peony, this is Mav Moon, the head of our operations in Exalting Sanctum. It seems you have some impressive skills in your arsenal. No need for modesty. I've studied martial arts for years. I can tell how strong you are with just a glance. You seem like you've got it all figured out. What brings you to the disciples of Sanctus Medicus? Good. Life is a miracle and a blessing. Any futile attempt to forsake it is a disgraceful betrayal. You have been enlightened to the significance of immortality. You have already surpassed those shameful mortals. Here, take this prescription. Through this medicine, you will become like me. You will be able to break the shackles that the devilish archer author has used to chain your soul. You will gain unbridled power and freedom. The disciple responsible for creating medicinal pellets heard of your exploits. They prepared the prescription for you personally. Some of the ingredients can be purchased at an apothecary, but others will require you to come up with your own solution. Given your strength, that shouldn't pose a problem. Do you have any questions? I don't know. I've heard our members are in the tens of thousands. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus has a flat organizational structure. The head of each area reports directly to the Master. I know nothing about what goes on elsewhere. The benefit is that even if our enemies were to wipe out the exalting Sanctum branch, it wouldn't affect our brothers and sisters in other areas. That's sensitive information. I know who they are, but for their security, I can't reveal their identities. It's not that I doubt your loyalty, Grey Peony. 
It's like I said, security. The boss? You mean the master? You'll meet them, but for now there's no rush. All in good time. Keep fulfilling your duties, as you have been. With your strength, you'll have an audience with the master in no time. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I once worked alongside those devils. I trained in spear techniques for almost a century. I nearly became a Cloud Knight instructor. But I was trapped in a weak mortal shell. I was never able to surpass the final barrier that separated me from the martial arts geniuses. Fortunately, the draft of Draconic Surge, the prescription you hold in your hand, rescued me. Once I took that medicine, I became more powerful than any mortal could ever dream of. Now, everything has changed. Jersene and his pitiful spearmanship are no more. All that remains is a loyal disciple of Merciful Medicus. Wait. You recognize me? Where do you know me from? Your face changed when you heard my name. M M Mav Moons, sir. We have a problem. I suspect this person may be the agent who's been looking for you. Idiot! What kind of trials are you running? You let an agent infiltrate our ranks? I, I I couldn't have known, sir. I I witnessed this person slay a cloud knight before my very eyes. Detestable. The devilish archer author allows these pitiful mortals to face death without fear. Self-sacrifice is their way of fooling us into opening our doors. Merciful Medicus has sharpened my senses. Nothing gets past me. A pathetic mortal like you could never understand. In that case, divine foresight devil, it's time for you to meet your demise. Uh. Immortality means forever. Oh, great. Another walk in the park. Stay right there while I give you a present! <laughs> Try that again! Immortality means forever! You have the worst luck running into me! Uh, rules are made to be broken! You must stage your welcome! Immortality! <laughs> So Mav Moon was the agent that Ching Zhu lost contact with. He joined the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I should go to the Seat of Divine Foresight and tell Ching Zhu. I don't know if this mission was a success or a failure. I'm glad to see you've returned in one piece. So? What happened? Did everything go as planned? Don't worry. Your operation was a success. Although your identity was ultimately exposed, you gained a wealth of invaluable intelligence. On top of that, 
You managed to get out without a scratch. Ugh. I never imagined that Jersin would choose the path of evil. You did the right thing. I'm afraid this is how the Plague's author operates. Using notions of power and life to draw countless people like Jersin away from bright futures. Down a path of no return. You've managed to shine a light on the darkness of the enemy. With this intelligence, the Seed of Divine Foresight will be able to improve its strategy. And for all your efforts, please accept this reward. Is there anything else you'd like to know about? The current state. <sighs> I'm afraid we know next to nothing. We dispatched agents, but they were only able to linger on the edges of the organization. Your operation is the furthest anyone's managed to infiltrate. The Seed of Divine Foresight is still striving to answer one question. Is this but the resurgent shadow of an organization silenced a thousand years ago? Or have they been lurking in the darkness all along? Whatever the case, this sudden reemergence hints at a hidden conspiracy. It's troubled me deeply over recent few months. It's hard to tell what all of this is building towards. Not at all. The Disciple's secret letter makes it sound as if we infiltrated their ranks in great numbers. The reality is that only a handful of agents have successfully slipped into the organization. And the majority of them lacked the strength you had to make it back unscathed after their identity was exposed. They didn't have the wisdom and good fortune to gain the organization's trust quickly. An agent can't actually consume those pellets of the Disciples. Doing so would mean the end of their life as they knew it. The point is, there hasn't been anyone like you who managed to delve into the group's core and obtain so much first-hand information. Thousand-Handed Merciful Medicus's Salvation is a manuscript transcribed from a sacred text. I don't know where the Disciples obtained it. It likely consists of fragments of banned works from the Befall era. As I see it, there isn't anything particularly alarming about the text. It recalls the acts of the Plague's author's warped creatures from an equally warped perspective. The scripture doesn't have the power to lead people astray. They do that to themselves. But it does feed lies and false hope. The prescription you acquired is beyond my knowledge. There are a few reliable alchemists that reside in Exalting Sanctum. I'd like to ask you to consult with them on the particulars of the prescription. This will allow the Seed of Divine Foresight to have a clear target for creating an antidote. Given that the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus has become aware of our operation, it's about time the Seed of Divine Foresight reeled in its net. If you turn up any details about the prescription, feel free to come back and find me anytime. Why, hello there. Anything I can help you with? So, this is official Seed of Divine Foresight business, eh? Then I'll do everything I can to assist you. <laughs> Let's take a look at this prescription you mentioned. Hmm... If this request had come from anywhere else, it would have seemed like a joke. That the Seed of Divine Foresight only deals in the serious. I can't understand this prescription. And I imagine that other alchemists won't be able to make sense of it either. I recommend you go directly to the Chief Alchemist, Lady Don Shu. Lady Don Shu is renowned for her unique line of reasoning. 
She's proposed several prescriptions that would have been incomprehensible to us if she hadn't explained the pharmacology. Still, those same prescriptions have always been able to produce miraculous effects. Lady Don Shu is a truly gifted alchemist. All the more amazing given her sightlessness, wouldn't you say? Lady Don Shu likes to pass the time over at Sinwood Pavilion. I'm sure you'll run into her if you head that way. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Everyone does. You're the hero who rescued the Vidyadara Healer Lady in Exalting Sanctum. I heard from other alchemists you have a prescription you wish me to assess. Can you read it to me? Thank you. Hmm... A strange and dangerous prescription, but I believe I understand the pharmacology. It involves drawing upon the strength of long scions to attain the power of... Ascension. The specifics, however, will require further investigation. This will take some time. I could hardly happen upon Vidyatara Bone Marrow and test the prescription myself, could I? Leave your contact details with me. When I've completed my assessment of the pharmacology, I'll get in touch with you. 